Ladies and gents, what's happening? Willie Mo Jr. here. I'm in, I am in Atlanta and the water boys are back out. I'm talking about these little boys is out selling their water. You hear me? They out there selling their water. I wish I would have known when I was a kid to get out and try to like sell water at the stoplight. We didn't know that. My friends were actually really trying to sell weed and crack. Like, like that was the goal. Like 12, 13 years old. They just like, you know what we want? I want an eighth. And it was like, I was I was so confused because I wasn't really a good drug dealer because I was, you know, I was scary, you know, so I didn't never really indulge in all like selling dope stuff or whatever because, you know, just the thought of jail for me, you know, I'm too little and cute for jail, as you can see, all this Willie D. Williams that I got going on that I'm giving you, but, you know, I realized as I was thinking about that is that when the option is not available or if you're not in tune and you don't know that it's an option, you just don't get involved. So I think essentially what I'm saying is like, we got to show these young cats new opportunities on how to make money, how to take care of their family. Because ultimately you don't just have to have a ball in your hand and you don't have to pick up a mic to do it. Like it's a lot of people out there doing some amazing things. You know, take my homeboy, good energy, Alex, right? So Alex is a multi-millionaire dude and he made trucking popular. Like cats ain't growing up thinking, I want to own trucks, right? But he thought that, and he ended up, you know, making millions of dollars. Homeboy, Mr. Two Weeks Out. Mr. Two Weeks Out, he got into the fitness business after being a club promoter, et cetera, et cetera. Like, literally became a millionaire. Like, cats, when we 12, like, I'm going to be a trainer, and I'm going to make millions. Like, nobody's thinking that. Like, cats is just so uninformed with a whole lot of new opportunities on how they can really make money, capitalize on the opportunity, and really take care of their family. And so I think it's my job and other entrepreneurs' job to educate on different avenues. Because a lot of times, we all trying to go down the same line, line and go down through the same lane, T, and get what happened we gonna end up clashing and now you hating on somebody because they in your lane but that wasn't your lane that was just the only lane that you thought was available to you you know what i'm saying flat out